Hello everybody, hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's message, I'm going to be tuning into the Divine Masculine Energies. And we can jump straight into the message straight away. First card, this card has come out. I respect my divine I respect my divine partner's boundaries. I exercise my right to set healthy boundaries. My beloved divine feminine. This is a time where we must honour each other's process and respect each other's process, each other's processes, because we both have to experience what we're experiencing at this present moment in time. So if it doesn't look like I'm recognising you, if I'm resisting or if I'm looking elsewhere, don't worry, don't fret. Just honour the process. It's inevitable. It doesn't matter what I'm doing or what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling. Because keep working the process and there'll just come a point where we won't be able to stay away from each other. We'll find ourselves stood in front of each other and there'll be nowhere else to go. A change in events is on the cards. A woman's going to fall in love. There ain't no woman like a woman in love. There ain't nothing she can't, can't rise above. Heightened perception. Listen to your own intuition and follow through on any ideas that arise from it. All emotions are brought down to the earthly state and manifested. As you are the connection of the divine emotion. You are the divine incarnate. From the perspective of absolute authentic freedom, we must let go of prejudice and restrictions and let our emotions flow. Follow your inner calling and create something new, however abstract it may appear to the rational mind. You're creating something really special here. And so if you're feeling like you're missing me, just choose to be with me right now and really feel me with you. Inside, in every fibre of your being, inside, outside, above you, below you, all around you. That's how, that's how I feel you, the one who intoxicates my soul. But please know that I'm ready to come out and say something. Clarity of thought, solidified, mature, secure per perception. I feel like the king of the hill. I've got it. I'm good. I'm making a decision to come forward. I'm very sure about something. I'm clear about what to say. I've thought long and hard. I'm not being impulsive. This is well thought out, very decisive. Extremely decisive and logical, non-biased. And that's because I'm mirroring the fact that you are at the top of your game, mentally speaking. You have high intellect, focused determination in one or more aspects of your life. Be proud of your accomplishments. You're a master of clarity and vision. You are in a place in your life where you have laser sharp focus on your path and know what you want. More importantly, you know how to get what you want. There's a definite possibility for expansion in our life. You have the information, knowledge and insight to bring it to the table. You'll share thoughts and ideas. You'll be challenged intellectually by me, your quick-witted beloved. Wherever you're at now, you're connected in our union, both intellectually and spiritually. Our connection is one that broadens our spiritual horizons and makes us think. It's a healthy and ever-changing connection. If there are issues, ask yourself... In what ways you may have poor boundaries or have energy leaks. And try to avoid being over-analytical because any negative aspects can be worked on. I am ready to leave the cares of this life behind, retreat away from the world with you for a while. No one loves me and soothes my soul the way you do. I can't wait to be all alone in your arms and make me feel you make me feel safe and warm. 
Yeah, I'm sick of the cares of everyday life. I'm sick of separation. I'm sick of being away from you. I'm sick of being surrounded by fake people. I'm really desiring love. I'm really desiring my true twin flame, a.k.a. you. I'm tired of putting others first, of doing it ego's way. Just love me here. Love me in this area where I feel vulnerable, where I feel rejected. This is where I felt really scared to open up and be vulnerable and have real love because of my past and what I experienced. But please know, I'm really getting clear on who is really loving me and who isn't right now. Please be compassionate with me because I'm going through a lot. I'm really going through it. <clears throat> I'm really feeling that dark contrast. I am longing for home. I'm wanting to go home. Finding my true purpose. Finding my love, my life. I'm tired of doing it the old way. I'm tired of pretending. I'm tired of not being myself. I really want to shine. I really want to express my love and give love, but also receive love. I'm longing for home. And I know that you are part of my home and I can sense that. I can feel that. So it's an important piece to remember. I handle disagreements with grace and wisdom and go with the flow within my relationship with my divine partner. I don't hold anger or resentment. I simply surrender all negativity to the divine. There are no true disagreements between true twin flames. There may be miscommunications, but once we go deeper, we'll realise that there was no dissonance, no discrepancy at all, because we've got the, exactly the same values. It's okay to understand something in our own individual ways. It's okay to have a slightly different language for something. It's all the same at the core. So, in when we're in our harmonious union, if something doesn't feel right, if something feels a little bit off, it's okay. It's just a sign that it's time to go deeper there. And all will be resolved. And we'll move deep every time we do resolve one of these issues, one of these upsets. We get rewarded by the falling in love again and again feeling as we move deeper and deeper into love. Deeper into love, harmony, connection, values, alignment choices, conscious connection, meaningful relationship. We have a beautiful soul honouring connection with each other. You know, the energy between us goes way beyond lust into something truly otherworldly. Open communication and raw honesty will be willing to be at our most vulnerable. And we've learnt to open our hearts to one another and share our truest feelings from which trust and confidence can emerge. This makes for a powerful bond between the two of us. We'll create a harmonious and fulfilling relationship built on trust and respect. We're also getting clear about our values and beliefs and figuring out what we stand for and believe in. It's time to go out into the big wide world and make choices for yourself, staying true to who you are and being genuine and authentic in all your endeavours. We are two beloveds who have found each other. We're recognising each other. And expect good, <coughs> expect good results from this relationship. Love is coming our way. Make sure your door is wide open. It can be something brand new or a rekindling of an old love. Taking our connection to the next level. Finding and reconnecting with each other. If you've been friend zone, you may suddenly step up your game and impress me with something that will blow your mind. But all you need to do there to blow my mind is just to be yourself, your authentic self. There's nothing else you need to do. Whatever that is, the air's going to smell sweeter. The world's going to appear rosier. Our friends are going to notice the bounce in our step and the huge smile permanently glued to our faces. 
everything's going to feel light and easy. If romance really can be the happier ever after we've been waiting for. In other aspects of life, this is also a reminder to begin or continue on the path to happiness. Positive confirmation of deep, deeper commitment or lasting relationship. This is a really encouraging omen. It's all good, so please don't worry about anything. Okay, everybody, I'm going to call it a day for this message. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you really enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.